Okay, this is a short summary on the gallbladder and bile ducts for year three medical students. Okay, history taking and examination is a very important aspect of year three training. First of all, you must obtain the chief complaint or complaints as the case may be. Then you go into the details for these complaints in the history of present illness. Each details of each symptom, positive and rel relative negative symptoms. Go to the relevant medical and surgical history, including family and social history. Then from there, we come to the physical examination. Okay, the detailed examination, the general examination of the patient, followed by a local or specific examination of the patient. Then you go into the details of the positive and relative negative signs. From this, you come to a clinical diagnosis. Okay, which consists of a provisional diagnosis and a couple of differential diagnoses. So once you come to the diagnosis, then you go into the rest of the investigation and management. Okay, next we come to Murphy sign, which may be positive in a patient of acute cholecystitis. Okay, how to release it? Place the hand below the right costal margin here, like as it is here, alongside the mid-clavicular line. Ask the patient to breathe deep and the patient experience, experiences pain at the peak of inspiration. And so he stops or halts the breathing and that is Murphy sign. Okay, there may be a number of other ways of demonstrating this, but basically it is applying pressure at the right upper chondral region where the gallbladder descends on deep inspiration to hit your end and cause pain. Okay. So while applying pressure in the right upper chondrium, ask the patient to inspire, take a deep breath. Murphy sign is positive when there is a halt in inspiration due to pain, indicating an inflamed gallbladder. This can be more accurately achieved with an ultrasonic probe, namely, and is known as sonographic Murphy sign. Murphy's sign. Ask the patient to exhale while palpating the gallbladder area medial to the midclavicular line. Now instruct the patient to take a deep breath so the gallbladder is pushed down and against the examiner's fingertips as the lungs expand. If cholecystitis is present, the patient will experience a sharp and sudden pain, causing them to abruptly cease inhalation. This reaction is known as a positive Murphy sign. Okay, now con talking about obstructive jaundice and and tumors that cause obstructive jaundice. This law is very important and is must be understood very carefully. Okay, this is a patient who is jaundice and a gallbladder that is palpable. Huh? That is enlarged gallbladder here. Okay. Now, this law says, in the presence of obstructive jaundice, a palpable gallbladder is usually not due to gallstone obstruction of the common bile duct. Okay, so that is the meaning. So if the gallbladder is palpable, on this patient is unlikely to be due to a stone obstructing the CVT. It must be due to some other causes, such as carcinoma head of pancreas, periampillary tumor, and cholangiocarcinoma, which I just went through recently. Just went through. Okay, this is. And I call it the triple cancer of obstructive jaundice. Why is it so? Because gallbladder is usually fibrotic and contracted in cholecystitis uh, with uh, due to stones. So once the patient with stones, they tend to have chronic cholecystitis. The gallbladder is unable to dilate. 
therefore not palpable. But there are exceptions to this rule. There are two main exceptions. Primary CBD stone, as I told you just now, 10% of stones are known as primary, occur in the bile duct without any stones in the gallbladder. So the gallbladder is virgin. The second one is double stone absorption. Stone in the CBD plus a stone in the cystic duct, causing the gallbladder to be distended to become even a mucosal uh, of the gallbladder, which then becomes palpable. Okay, now what are the diseases, common diseases of the biliary system? First, the common one is uh, this related to gallbladder problems, cholelithiasis, biliary colic, acute cholecystitis, chronic cholecystitis. These are the common conditions. And these are the complications of cholecystitis, empyema, gangrene and perforation, and the other diseases involve gallbladder polyps or carcinoma of the gallbladder. And as far as the biliary ducts are concerned, the three important or common diseases will be cholelithiasis, cholangitis, and stricture of the CBD. Less common, sclerosing cholangitis, carcinoma head of pancreas, cholangiocarcinoma, and periampillary carcinoma, which all cause obstructive jaundice. Then you have some congenital conditions in children, biliary atresia, and cholidocal cysts. Now, what are the symptoms of gallbladder and biliary disease? First, you've got the specific symptoms, symptoms related specifically to the gallbladder and bile ducts. These include pain in the right hypochondrium, fatty food, aggravated by fatty food, radiation to the back or the right shoulder. Sometimes patient has got uh, complaints of breathless and radiation of the pain to the shoulder and the back as I mentioned. The onset is usually acute in onset, usually within a few days. Sometimes they can be jaundiced, decolored urine, pruritus and clay colored stools, suggestive of obstructive jaundice. And if it's some form of infection like empyema or cholangitis, they can have high fever with chills and rigors. The second group of symptoms, uh, which I call non-specific, include nausea and vomiting, fever, loss of appetite, diarrhea, lethargy, and generally the feeling of unwellness. Okay, I call this non-specific because any abdominal conditions can come with these symptoms. Now, what are the signs of gallbladder and biliary disease? Okay, these are the list of common signs that you must look for in the patients with bile duct and biliary disease. Jaundice, fever, tenderness, guarding and rebound tenderness, especially in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen. Positive Murphy sign, a palpable gallbladder in accordance with the Covasius law and hepatomegaly. Okay, the three important uh, group of syndrome, syndromes which uh, must be recognized will be the Charcot's triad, which is due to cholangitis, consists of three things, pain, fever, and jaundice. Then, renal spentat, Charcot's triad, plus two other conditions, known as hypotension and mental disorientation, which are more severe forms of cholangitis and leading to shock and sepsis and then you have the covasius law which is related to a palpable gallbladder and obstructive jaundice and in this condition it's unlikely to be a gallstone as the cause of the obstruction now, lastly the important conditions and diseases of the bile duct and gall uh, biliary system gallstone related causes account for 80% of the conditions. 
These include biliary colic, acute cholecystitis and its complications, chronic cholecystitis and complications, obstructive jaundice due to cholecystitis and malignancies, which we call the triple cancer of obstructive jaundice, and lastly, cholecystectomy, laparoscopic and open the indications and complications of this procedure. So these are the important conditions that you must be familiar with yeah, during your posting in surgery. Thank you for your patience.